Hello friends, I am Dr. Saurav Mittal. In this session, I would like to share with you some important features of Microsoft Power BI. I'll be talking about artificial intelligence, how these features have been integrated into Power BI and how you can utilize them for your business decision making, how you can crunch your number organization's data and you can uh, develop some great insights for your business. So the Power BI uh, desktop software I have installed on my computer system. So we can firstly, we can capture the data. So I have some uh, data files with me and that is an MS Excel file I can import into Power BI. The data that I'm going to use uh, that is a global superstore data set. So this data is having around 50,000 records and around 20 plus columns are there. And uh, there are three sheets into this data set. So you can notice that uh, this data is being loaded because of the heavy size, it might take some time. If you want to see the data from the first sheet, that is order sheet. So it is generating the preview for us. You can notice that there are a good number of rows and columns. So in this session, I'm not going uh, into the details of transforming the data or doing any kind of query. I'm directly loading this data into Power BI. Once your data is loaded, you can look at it in the data view on the left hand panel. So right now this data is being loaded. It is trying to create a connection in the model. And once your data is loaded, you will be able to see it into data view. So now you can notice that 51,000 plus rows have been added. And this is my table view where you can notice that data about row ID, order ID, order date, shipping date, shipping mode, customer ID, customer name, etc. has been given. Okay, so we are having the details about the order date and the shipping date. You can notice shipping date is given, order date is given. These are all uh, data attributes that are given to us. Also, we have the information about sales amount, then quantity, discount, profit and shipping cost. So these are some of the fields which are important for my data analysis. Let us go back to the report view from the left hand panel. Here I can do uh, some kind of analysis. For example, I may be interested in looking at how the sales are happening over a period of time. So on the right hand pane, you can notice that the data set is mentioned here. Orders is the name of my file. And here we have the data about order date. And I may also be interested in looking at how much of sales we have achieved. So I'm selecting another field here that is sale. And friends, you can notice that some table has been created into the work area. So this table is there. Uh, the size, the phone size is very small. But right now, I may not be interested in looking at the data file or the table as such. I want to create it uh, into a column chart. So I'm selecting this visualization of column chart. So by default, it has captured the details about 2011, 2012, 13, 14, all these four years information it has captured. So right now the tech phone size is very small. So what we can do, I can format this chart and uh, I can bring some modifications here. So uh, go to the view menu and here we have the option of selecting any color theme and we can also customize the current theme. So my, my purpose here is to just increase the font size for all the text that is given here. So by default it is showing 10. 10 is the size of font. Now I'm increasing it to 15 so that data is little more visible to us and I'm going to change the color scheme as well. So any of the color scheme you can select. Okay, so customize the current theme. 
and the text size has to be increased to suppose 18 so that now it is visible okay so friends uh, if you have any exposure to power bi so you must be knowing that we have the option of hierarchies here so in tableau also we have the option of hierarchy and here also we have the option of creating the hierarchy so automatically the data is being shown uh, in terms of year wise sales performance if you want to uh, decompose this, this data into quarter wise or maybe month wise so for that we are having certain icons you can notice so this is the icon which is going to expand this data into one level by one level i mean to say quarter wise so 2011 quarter 1 2 3 4 likewise 2012 2013 and 14 so these are the quarter wise sales performance of my organization sometimes we might be interested in finding out why certain trend is being visible you can notice here that the sales for quarter one and quarter two three and four that is increasing right but as we move from quarter four of 2011 to 2000 12 quarter one there is a drastic downfall in the sales so why this downfall happened what was the reason behind it so for and identifying the reason for this downfall we might be juggling through all these uh, variables on the right hand side you can notice the attributes of this data for example there might be some issues with the, some category of products or maybe some of the countries might be uh, responsible for example we are facing that Ukraine war crisis at uh, at this moment. So because of that, the sales of the company, which is operating in various countries, they might have suffered a major jolt in, in a specific country. So that might be one of the reasons. Similarly, there might be certain issues with the customer category. There might be some uh, issues with the markets, some issues respective to the shipping mode. For example, at this moment, you can notice that uh, the shipping mode uh, waterways that is actually facing challenge or there might be certain issues with uh, some subcategory of the product so we might be uh, having multiple answers to this question and if your organization is uh, having this kind of question why there is a change why there is a downfall in the performance of my organization so uh, we might be required to experiment with the uh, multiple variables Okay, so for this uh, situation, Microsoft Power BI has given us a wonderful tool that is called uh, Analyze. So right click here and we can see there's an option for Analyze. So automatically it has detected that there has been a decrease, right? Explain the decrease. If you want to uh, check why there is an increase from quarter three to quarter four of 2011, so right click here and the moment if you click on analyze, it will ask you explain the increase because here it could sense that there was an increase, right? So friends, uh, in case of downfall, we might be interested in finding out what is the reason of this decrease. So the moment you click on it, it will start doing all kinds of permutations and combination. And this is where artificial intelligence comes into picture. Power BI has actually given some more uh, features through which my system can analyze which factors are having what kind of impact on the performance, right? So friends, the first thing that we have found out that United States, Mexico and China that had the largest decrease among the countries. So these are the five countries you can notice and out of that, uh, you can notice that uh, certain countries are having more uh, impact on the performance of your business. This is country specific. Next, it has also calculated state wise. You can notice that uh, New York, California and Queensland, they had the largest decrease, right? So you can notice that California was having the 64% uh, downfall in the sales. And in fact, the state like Bihar in India that was showing a positive impact. So there might be certain other countries which are having any major impact on the performance. So you could notice that country-wise analysis also it has done. Then state-wise analysis is also there. You can also check that there are region-specific. 
right, or the market specific, you can see that APEC and LATAM, Latin America, accounted for the majority of decrease among the markets. So the relative contribution made by LATAM and EU and US that changed the most. So friends, this kind of analysis has been created and we can utilize it into explanation for our dashboard. So if you want to do that, so there is uh, one option of positive and negative feedback. So this is how uh, Power BI will further learn whether this kind of suggestion, this, that kind of analysis was found to be useful by this user or not. If you click on this plus sign, so what will happen, this analysis will be integrated into your page. If you want to add one more, probably you can find that um, city-wise there is certain important uh, observation or maybe the subcategory wise there is certain observation so we can integrate that as well so we can add one more probably we have more space okay so this one is a little interesting for me so i can give a thumbs up here so that is not mandatory but i am giving this feedback and i'm using it on my slide okay so what i have done i have added these two And as you click outside, so that window has disappeared. So this is the main chart. And for explaining this, we have these two more charts. And these charts are showing why the sales has actually suffered in this quarter. Right. So this was quarter number one for 2012. So this data is talking about the performance of 2011. So you can notice that 2011 quarter four, this was the sum of sales and this is the sum of sales in quarter one of 2012. So when you will be showing this data as a uh, dashboard, people will be able to see how this uh, transaction is actually happening. What are the major factors which have contributed to downfall in the sales for quarter one of 2012? I hope you are uh, able to understand. Probably we can do one more thing. We can duplicate this page, right? Right click on that page name and we have created a duplicate page. And uh, this one I can delete, right? Both these analysis that have been added that I'm going to delete. And uh, one more analysis I want, why this sales has increased in the quarter four of 2014. So friends, so for that as well, we can right click and go to analyze, explain the increase. And now it is able to generate certain important insights for my business. It could see that uh, some of sales change for market APAC is 37%. 61% is the change for Latin America and 39% is for America. So this is going to be interesting for me. Or probably this is the, uh, we, can, we can experiment with various visualizations. So right now we are using waterfall chart. So we can also use a scatter chart if it is required. So scatter chart, if you click on it, it will show you how the change has happened. Or you can use the bar chart as well. So this bar chart is going to give you some more insights that, okay, uh, this blue color is representing APAC. So it was having this size and it has changed in quarter three of 2014 to 2014, quarter four. And then we also have uh, this ribbon chart. So that is showing a certain change happening in the business process. So if you are interested in this one, so you can simply click on plus sign or if you want to experiment with some other dimensions, so that will be automatically generated and we can integrate into our visualization so i'm giving a thumbs up to this one and uh, a plus sign so it will help me in integrating this chart into my visualization so this one has been integrated what we can do we can make a space for this one okay so we are going to explain that uh, there is a significant change in the sales from quarter three of uh, 2014 to quarter four of 2014. So how that has happened. So uh, there is a significant change we can notice happening here. 
if you want to have some modification for example i want to show the labels right so that will make the things more clear so this is the explanation that has been created and i'll go to the format of visual and here we have the option for data labels right so now the viewers will be able to better understand how that uh, trend has happened okay so now it is better visible that the sales has increased from quarter three of 2014 to quarter four of 2014 and probably if we want to uh, change the location of this legend right now it is showing on the top left i can make it uh, on the right hand side so right center so this is how it will be placed or if you want to change the legend location so that can also be done so that is totally up to us okay so i hope you understood this one and this is uh, one of the greatest application of artificial intelligence in power bi that's all for now all the best